You should have seen it, Grace. The church was filled with flowers, lilies, and carnations, and orchids. You know how Amelia loved orchids. Those weren't orchids. They were orchids, Irene. What? Orchids. I know an orchid when I see one. Purple orchids. Oh, and that smell, Grace. That smell. It was like, like... Flowers? No, I was gonna say it was like, like heaven. I was gonna say it was like heaven. Like heaven? Catherine, it was just a funeral. You make it out to be some sort of Valentino picture. It wasn't just a funeral, Irene. It was Amelia's funeral, and it was beautiful. The church was like, like the botanical garden. The company sent a big spray of flowers, too. Carnations. Mums. Yellow carnations. Those are called mums. Well, it sounds like a nice service anyhow. Girls, girls, the whistle's already gone. Come on. Now then, I received new instructions this day. We're going back to the old way of pointing the brushes. We was losing too much paint in the cloth. B but... Yes, Grace, is there something you'd wish to say? Dr. Von Sashaki told me not to do that. He said it's unsanitary. Unsanitary? I could hardly believe he'd ever say such a thing. We've been doing this as long as I've been here. You must have misunderstood him. Yes, ma'am. And you're not to get new brushes until you're done with the old ones. And they gotta be so bad that they can't get to a point no more. But you can't make quota like that. Well, I'm sure you'll try your best then, since I have my instructions. I need a new brush. It's not for us to be asking questions, is it? It's for us to be doing the work. I have my instructions, girls. I have my <laughs> instructions. Here's some instructions for you, Miss McNeil. Why don't you let some of that starch out of your corset? Was she at the service? McNeil? Are you kidding? Do you think she'd cross the street for her own mother? Most everybody else was, though. You was about the only girl from the floor who wasn't there. I wanted to come, but Ma was working, so I had to watch the little ones. You could have brought them. <laughs> All seven. Well, if it was me, I'd have tried to get there. Oh, just lay off of it. Grace feels bad as it is. So were many of the fellas there? Oh yeah, lots of the fellas from downstairs. Mr. Roth from the front office, Dr. Von Sashaki was there, and Mr. Reeder. He left early. So, he was there all the same. Oh, and Grace, you know that one fellow from Crystallizing? What's his name? The one with the red hair. He was there. The tall fellow with the freckles. That's the one who snaps his fingers all the time. George. Jerry. I think it's George. It's Jerry. Jerry Mallet. He was the one who was always hanging around Amelia back in the day. Oh, that's right. Grace, when the, se when the service was over, he goes over to the coffin and he goes like this. Like this he goes. No! Yes! Really? Really! Oh, for pity's sake. Oh, what? He did. Nobody could believe it. And so what if he did? So what? He was in love with her. That's so what? Don't you think so, Grace? Well, I guess he had to be, if he did that. Can, can you imagine? Can you imagine if he loved her and he never told her, never could bring himself to say, because she was so, so beautiful and he was so, so shy. And now it's too late. It's too late. Their love forever thwarted. He never told her and he'll never get the chance ever again. Poor Amelia. Poor Amelia. Poor kid. Her family took it awful bad, Grace. Albina, Quinta, everybody. Every one of them crying, even her father crying so bad. I never seen a man cry before, and not like that, just bawling like a baby. And you know why, right? Because their daughter had died. What she died from? Irene, don't go spreading stories. It's not a story. Albina even told us. There's no reason that Grace shouldn't know. Know what? Know what? Uh, Amelia. Ain't it awful? Albina said her father's fit to be tied, too. Six girls at home and ain't none of them going to a dance ever again. All because she up and died from syphilis. Shh! I can't help it if it's what she died from. You don't know that for sure. It's on the death certificate. Anemia and complications from syphilis. But Amelia was ever so nice. 
Well, guess she got around more than anyone knew. Maybe the doctor got it wrong. Doctors are wrong sometimes. Oh, come on. Maybe it was a mistake. Doctors can be wrong. That's true. Doctor was wrong about Ann Ivy. What's Mama got to do with this? Oh, Irene, don't you remember? Till the day she died, doctor said Ann Ivy would be fine. Said get a cup of tea, get a good night's rest. And then two days later, we was taking her to Rosedale Cemetery. Girls, girls, the men are here to make an announcement. Yes, thank you, Miss McNeil. Girls, we are here to put a few rumors to rest. And to explain some changes, yeah? Yes. As some of you may know by now, Dr. Von Shashaki will be stepping down. And he wanted to take this opportunity... To make with goodbye. And Mr. Either has kindly consented. Some of you I've known since you were little girls. Coming here during the war and working so hard day after day at the bench. 200, 300, some of you. 500 dials a day. When this company I started my own kitchen mixing up paint, I knew I found something that would make life better and easier. And now what do I read? More and more uses are there for the radio. More than I could ever dream possible. Thank you, doctor. Yes, thank you, doctor. And now, girls, the doctor's a very busy man and must be on his way. So let us take this time to wish him the best of luck in his new business ventures. <laughs> very good. Now, and girls. Mr. Either, as well, to the plate he steps as your new company president. Our congratulations to you. Thank you. You know, when you came four years ago to us, I saw you a great young man of enterprise. Thank you. And great ambition. Yes, thank you. And little did I guess the direction that your ambition would take. But that's what makes this country great. The opportunity it gives to a man and his friends. And so, girls. And so, ladies, let us wish Mr. Reader the best of luck in this new direction he intends the company to take. New direction? Now, doctor. Well, with the slowdown in dial painting and thus leading more towards the medical market, there's going to be lots of changes, yeah? What the doctor is referring to. Some of our larger customers are setting up their own dial painting studios. And that would mean less work for our girls here. In the short run, things might be a little bit slower here. However, the Waterbury Clock Company in Connecticut needs help setting up their new studio. We were planning on making an announcement next week, but we'll make it now. Miss McNeil? Oh, well, yes. We were going to be asking some of you girls to go on up there. The work is supervisory in nature, which means more pay. Did you have some girls in mind? Uh, Louise Conlin was one. Lana McCarthy, Sarah Douch, um, Catherine Schwab. The rest of the list is upstairs. Mind if I put it out later? Very good. Well, girls, there you have it. As we are all on the clock, we will leave you to your work. Thank you, ladies. Our best luck wishes to you. That's back to work with you ladies, all right? So are you going to do it, Catherine? Are you going to take that job? I don't know, Grace. What's you? Oh, I don't know. It's awful far from home, and Tommy would have a fit. Oh, come on, Grace. It'd be fun. Come on. Won't it be fun, Irene? Irene? Irene, honey, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why wouldn't I be? Your mouth is bleeding. <laughs>